number three. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you mustn't speak during the test. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. When will they go on holiday? Do you want to come on holiday with me in the summer? Sure. I can go in June, July or September. Well, June will be best for me. July's too hot and I have to work in September. OK. Where shall we go? Now listen again. Do you want to come on holiday with me in the summer? Sure. I can go in June, July or September. Well, June will be best for me. July's too hot and I have to work in September. OK. Where shall we go? Two. How is Patty going to travel? I'm going to go to Vienna on Saturday. How long does it take to fly there, Patty? Oh, I'm going to drive. Oh, yes. You get ill on planes, don't you? Yes. And trains. Now listen again. I'm going to go to Vienna on Saturday. How long does it take to fly there, Patty? Oh, I'm going to drive. Oh, yes. You get ill on planes, don't you? Yes. And trains. Three. What will Sam do? You must phone me while you're on holiday, Sam. Telephoning's too expensive. I'll send you a postcard from the campsite. But I'll want to know you're all right. Can't you send me a letter? I won't have time for writing letters. Now listen again. You must phone me while you're on holiday, Sam. Telephoning's too expensive. I'll send you a postcard from the campsite. But I'll want to know you're all right. Can't you send me a letter? I won't have time for writing letters. Four. What was the weather like in Portugal? What was the weather like in Portugal, Debbie? It was cloudy every day, but it didn't rain. Really? It was lovely and sunny on our holiday in Spain. Yes, but we were in the north of Portugal, and it's different there. Now listen again. What was the weather like in Portugal, Debbie? It was cloudy every day, but it didn't rain. Really? It was lovely and sunny on our holiday in Spain. Yes, but we were in the north of Portugal, and it's different there. Five. What has the girl broken? Be careful, Mum. There are some pieces of glass on the floor. Well, you haven't broken that nice picture, have you? It's all right. The lemonade bottle fell on the floor. Oh, well, at least it was empty. Now listen again. 
Be careful, Mum. There are some pieces of glass on the floor. Well, you haven't broken that nice picture, have you? It's all right. The lemonade bottle fell on the floor. Oh, well, at least it was empty. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Patrick talking to his mother about a photo of his old school friends. What is each person wearing? For questions six to ten, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. How was the party with your old school friends, Patrick? Great, Mother. We've changed a lot since 1990. Look at this photo. <laughs> was Peter there? Yes. This is him in a sports jacket. Oh, yes. And does Martin still wear a T-shirt and dirty jeans? Well, he's a businessman now, so he can't be dirty. But he was wearing jeans. Look. Oh, yes. And is this person with the long coat Joanna? It's like her, isn't it? But Joanna's standing next to Amy and wearing a red sweater. Is that Amy? I can't believe it. She's so thin. That black dress doesn't look very good on her. Mm, she's been ill. That man in the big hat is her husband, James. Oh. Isn't that Robert? No. See the man in the red T-shirt with the blue trousers? That's Robert. Oh, how people change. Now listen again. How was the party with your old school friends, Patrick? Great, Mother. We've changed a lot since 1990. Look at this photo. <laughs> was Peter there? Yes. This is him in a sports jacket. Oh, yes. And does Martin still wear a T-shirt and dirty jeans? Well, he's a businessman now, so he can't be dirty. But he was wearing jeans. Look. Oh, yes. And... Is this person with the long coat Joanna? It's like her, isn't it? But Joanna's standing next to Amy and wearing a red sweater. Is that Amy? I can't believe it. She's so thin. That black dress doesn't look very good on her. Mm, she's been ill. That man in the big hat is her husband, James. Oh. Isn't that Robert? No. See the man in the red T-shirt with the blue trousers? That's Robert. Oh, how people change. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Jenny asking Mark about school holiday activities. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. Oh, it's the school holiday, so we're shopping now. <laughs> we're not sure what to do after that. Well, there's a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh, what time is the show? It starts at 2 and finishes at 3.30. It's only quarter past one now. What about that? How much is a ticket? Well, it's £1.50 for adults and 75 pence for children. Programmes are 25 pence. And does your library do a reading course in the holidays? Yes. And if children under 10, like Sarah, read four books in six weeks, we give them something to take home. What? Like a book? Well, this year it's a pen, but sometimes it's a book or a school bag. Meet me after the show and I'll tell you what to do. Oh, thanks. 
see you later then. Now listen again. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. Oh, it's the school holiday, so we're shopping now. <laughs> we're not sure what to do after that. Well, there's a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh, what time is the show? It starts at 2 and finishes at 3.30. It's only quarter past one now. What about that? How much is a ticket? Well, it's £1.50 for adults and 75 pence for children. Programmes are 25 pence. And does your library do a reading course in the holidays? Yes. And if children under 10, like Sarah, read four books in six weeks, we give them something to take home. What? Like a book? Well, this year it's a pen, but sometimes it's a book or a school bag. Meet me after the show and I'll tell you what to do. Oh, thanks. See you later then. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear Judy asking about music lessons. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning. Central School of Music. Good morning. My name's Judy Black. I'd like some information about guitar lessons, please. Are you a beginner? Yes. I've never played the guitar before. Then you'll want a beginner's class. There's one on Wednesday evening and another on Tuesday morning. I work during the day, so I'd like the evening class. It begins at half past seven, and it's a two-hour class. Oh, that will be fine for me. Uh... Can you tell me how much I have to pay? Each lesson costs £5.50. That's £55 for a course of ten lessons. That's not bad, but I haven't got a guitar. Does it matter? No, the school can lend you one. Oh, good. And can you tell me the name of the teacher? It's Mrs. Capel. That's C-A-P-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Right. What room will my lesson be in? Classroom number 328, on the third floor. Great. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Now listen again. Good morning. Central School of Music. Good morning. My name's Judy Black. I'd like some information about guitar lessons, please. Are you a beginner? Yes. I've never played the guitar before. Then you'll want a beginner's class. There's one on Wednesday evening and another on Tuesday morning. I work during the day, so I'd like the evening class. It begins at half past seven, and it's a two-hour class. Oh, that will be fine for me. Uh, can you tell me how much I have to pay? Each lesson costs £5.50. That's £55 for a course of ten lessons. That's not bad, but I haven't got a guitar. Does it matter? No, the school can lend you one. Oh, good. And can you tell me the name of the teacher? It's Mrs. Capel. That's C-A-P-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Right. What room will my lesson be in? Classroom number 328, on the third floor. Great. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a teacher talking about a school trip. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice.
Right. Listen carefully, everyone. I want to tell you about our school trip. We're going to go on Saturday. I hope you can all come. Yes. Now, as you know, we're going to visit the Film Museum. There are lots of very interesting things there about the cinema and how films are made. Uh, we'll have to leave at 8.45, so don't be late. We'll get there by bus. Uh, please meet me in the car park. You all know where that is, don't you? Yes, sir. And uh, when we return, the bus will leave you at the school entrance. Tell your parents, won't you? What next? Uh, oh, yes, the cost. It'll be £6.70 pence each, OK? Remember to get the money from your parents. Now, I'm going to give you some work to do at the museum. Aww. You'll need to write things down, so take a pencil with you. We'll have lunch in the museum cafe, so you needn't bring any food with you. Well, uh, I think that's everything. Uh... Now listen again. <laughs> right, listen carefully, everyone. I want to tell you about our school trip. We're going to go on Saturday. I hope you can all come. As you know, we're going to visit the Film Museum. There are lots of very interesting things there about the cinema and how films are made. Uh, we'll have to leave at 8.45, so don't be late. We'll get there by bus. Uh, please meet me in the car park. You all know where that is, don't you? Yes, sir. And uh, when we return, the bus will leave you at the school entrance. Tell your parents, won't you? What next? Uh, oh, yes, the cost. It'll be £6.70 pence each, OK? Remember to get the money from your parents. Now, I'm going to give you some work to do at the museum. Aww. You'll need to write things down, so take a pencil with you. We'll have lunch in the museum cafe, so you needn't bring any food with you. Well, uh, I think that's everything. Uh... This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. This is the end of the test.